Hello everyone, welcome to LearnDAX channel. My name is Siddesh and in this video we are going to study the concept of context transition in Power BI. In order to explain context transition, I have taken a simple example of a table just which has just five rows and three columns, product, price and quantity. Sales amount is something that we want to calculate in this demonstration. And in order to demonstrate what's exactly happening, I will be using Excel for the purpose of this demo and not Power BI. And you'll see why why I'm using uh, Excel to simplify what exactly happens in a context transition. So in the last video that I had uploaded, I had explained what exactly a row context is and a filter context is. So let's say if I want to calculate the sales amount in this particular table, a row context, what it's going to do is, let's say I use a function, let's say some X price into quantity for the product table. It is going to iterate row by row go to the first row, check the price, which is 10, multiply it by the quantity, which is two, and give me the sales amount as 20. And again, after the first row is done, it is going to calculate the same thing for the second row, for the third row, the fourth row, and the fifth row. So this is what's happening in case of a row context. That is the SUMX function is going to iterate row by row. And for every corresponding row, it is going to give me the value in the sales amount column. But that's just row context. Now, what is context transition? Well, the moment I go to the first row, then the row gets converted into a filter. Now, how does that happen? I'll show you in the next part of this video. So what happens is, uh, in order to explain this, I've created a pivot table and it's very simple. You just go here and insert and you can just insert a pivot table, which I'll cover in some other video. So in this pivot table, let's say I have come to the first row as an as a row context as I'm iterating, I've reached this point in my calculation. So as per the row context, I am in row one. And now that row one is getting converted into filter context. So how? So let me pull these values, which is the product, the price and the quantity in the filters. So now they have become filters. So what I'll do is I'll quickly select the values corresponding to the first row in this particular selection. So the product ID is one, the price is 10, the quantity is two. And now I will grab this sales amount and put it in the values well. And what I'm getting is the sum of sales amount is 20. Now what's happening is I have taken the first row. Now the values corresponding to the first row are now becoming a filter. They are becoming input as a filter for this particular table. And when those values are filtered, I am getting a sales amount. And when that sales amount is copied and pasted here, then we get the output. And this thing repeats for all the five iterations. So what I'm suggesting here is now I come to the second row. Now I'll filter this again. So once I'm at the second row, now I go back to the pivot table. Now the product is going to filter not for value one, but for value two, the price is going to filter not for value 10, but for value 20. The quantity is going to filter not for value two, but for value three. And then after filtering these values, the resultant of uh, the resultant of this operation, which is the sales amount is the product uh, the product of price and quantity. What I get now gets populated here. That's how it gets calculated. So this is what's happening in, in this particular case, which is I am using I'm iterating every row in the first row i have three values for product price and quantity now those three values like 1 10 and 2 become the input for the filter for this table itself so now we are filtering this table the product table for the value 1 for the price 10 and for the quantity 2 and then i'm calculating the sales amount so instead of simply going like uh, simply taking a straight way we are like going around it and then getting to the sales amount so that is context transition and so on and so forth i go to the row three and then again i change 
the value to 3 in for the product I change the value to 30 for the price I change the value for 4 and then again I take this value after the table has been filtered for these values then I put it here and this gets continued for the remaining values oh I'm sorry so this gets continued for the remaining values and that's how we calculate the sales amount when there is a context transition that's happening in which the values that we are going to get from the row become an input for the filters and those filters then act on the table and then we're going to get the corresponding output based on what uh, multiplication aggregation average whatever we are going to try to calculate in that particular scenario so this brings us to the end of this demonstration i've tried to simplify this as much as i can and if you think that my interpretation of the concept of context transition needs further improvement or my interpretation of this particular concept is something that needs to be worked on please leave your feedback in the comment section and if you found some value out of this video please share it with your friends and like i always say at the end of the video thanks for learning sorry happy watching and thanks for learning or wait did i say it wrong happy learning and thanks for watching